Hello everyone, today we have 7 new academy teams that you can all use no matter what elo or goal you try to achieve on the ladder. These are teams that I've been using and enjoying the last couple of days or weeks. They have been doing quite well for me in some of them in the most recent videos, my tournaments or even like my runs in the high ladder, so I want to share them with you. You can find all 7 teams in the description of the video or in the academy samples for generation 9 OU. So, if you like these type of videos where I'm giving you like high ladder teams and you're interested for more, consider subscribing to my channel as you'll get a notification when my next videos are up. And you know, it is absolutely free and you support my, my little channel, my channel's growth. So, with all that said, let's quickly talk about the team so I can give you some information and synergies between the sets and Pokemons. Starting with this team, we have, yeah, ignore the names, <laughs> we have, uh, you know, this nice little. 4 attacks Zamazenta team with heavy duty boots and uh, it's a nice little bulky offense you have Zamazenta, heavy duty boots, Valiant with Angkor Gliscor with SPDF investment and Terra Dragon Terra Ghost, uh, Iron Defense, Soul Cure Garganacle Mixed Defenses with Iron Defense, boost your... So it's, it's the superstar of the team, this set is very underrated you have a heavy duty boots Among Us with Worry Seed and the Corviknight with Iron Defense now Zamazenta you know, you, you have seen probably the set before, it's quite good for attacks, you just click buttons, this guy has natural, naturally has like great stats in both defenses and offenses, its ability helps with that too, so it's fast, and so you can revenge kill a lot of stuff, I'm even going adamant, you could jo go jolly if you're paranoid about like, I don't know, Muscarata, Green Ninja, you want to you wanna be able to revenge kill those, you can go jolly if you like, I like adamant because heavy slam crunch and ice fang are all boosted by it, so for example, crunch hits Pokemon like Goldego, defensive Goldego that would otherwise resist your stab close combat. It hits uh, Dragapool, it hits uh, things like that. So you maximize your damage with the Adamant. Heavy Slam hits Fairies that would resist your close combat. So things like Clefable, things like Terra Fairy don't, don't dodge. Okay, not, not gonna take too much to be honest, but it hits Iron Violent that you can also outspeed. Hattering, Nine Dells, Bunch of Threads, and Ice Fang is mainly for Gliscor. It also has a nice little freeze chance, it also has a nice little flinch chance. But yeah, it's for Dragons and Gliscor. Dragonite gets hit. Dragon is a good neutral hit. Uh, neutral. Uh, it's super effective, but I, it's, a, it's a nice. Instead of instead of going Kranz, this is a little bit weaker. But if he's, for example, having an option to go like either Dragapult or Garchomp, you can catch both with a nice Fang instead of clicking Kranz versus uh, uh, Gliscor, right? So, and Terra Water helps versus like Steel, uh, steel types. It also helps versus Greninja as Dark Pulse would be resisted by fighting, so he would be clicking Hydro Pump, so you can tear water and revenge kill that. Also helps versus Mana Fee and a couple of other threats make it rain and things like that. Next we have the Valent. This is a heavy duty boot set. Usually you see like boosted energy and shit. I like heavy duty boots in this set because of the utility Anchor provides. Uh, you can slap this Pokemon, drop it in a Pokemon that tries to set up, for example, like an SD Gliscor or a Calmind Enamorous or whatever it is. Anchor and then get a key knockovers, whatever, whatever they try to switch to. Sysok hits, Tondo, uh, not Tondo, hits Among Us, hits uh, Clotzer, hits Poison types in general that would be able to resist the Moonblast. And Terra Fairy, you have that to boost your Moonblast damage by a lot. So with this coverage, you should be able to hit a lot of threats. Golden got hit by knock off and you get rid of its item you know Corvina you can just get rid of its item you have like it's a good utility violence set and with still uh, the ability to like uh, deal massive damage with the Moonblast and Terra Fairy and open un opening up some holes to defensive cores speaking of defensive cores we start defensive core with our Gliss core it's Terra Dragon so it resists like the grass types in the tier you see things like Rillaboom you see things like Ochre Ponds everywhere in the tier Terra Dragon resists those, it also resists Heatran, Iron Moth, it's a good, very good uh, Terra for it, Water would be the, the the other one that you would use to resist Fire and no longer be Ice Weak, but Water does resist the Grass types that you want to be checking. Um, next we have Carcanacle, Carcanacle with the Terra Ghost, you remove that Fighting Resist, now you are a good check to Sneasler and as well as common Fighting types. So things like Samazenta, now you're able to beat them because your Iron Defense has the Iron Defense, but you boost by a lot and Kranz is like no, doing like negative damage. Like Kranz is not Iron Defense boosted, right? Body Press would be the, what the Samazenta boosts uh, with Iron Defense. So yeah, you basically outmatch them. 
you might outmatch Sneasler trying to ST, you can Terra Ghost on the close combat. It's a good, especially because of the Purifying Salt, which removes like the Gold Weakness. Now you're neutral, so you basically have very little weaknesses. Like it's, this is a very good set and uh, it's a good meta game pick because it checks in one Pokemon a lot of the physical and special attackers. Like it's a good utility check uh, to a lot of a lot of threads and what's good about this is like because there is very little covered cloak being used at the moment because of kind of uh, not being very common uh, soul cure allows you to make a lot of progress very easily versus teams so you click soul cure not only steel types and war types take a shit ton of damage but in general everything takes a lot of damage and you're making a lot of progress with that easily uh, gotta be a little bit careful versus Gliscor, which is why you have the next part of the team it is uh, an Amungus, not a Gliscor check, but it has the last move here, Worry Seed, making your Gliscor matchup a lot more, uh, a lot easier. So you can Giga Drain spam, Spore spam, he's gonna try to absorb the Spore with a Spedef Gliscor, and if he stays for a lot of turns, he's stacking Toxic turns more and more and more and more, and then you Worry Seed and he takes like 50% immediately. So like, you free up your Spore uh, a lot by using this and this has nice synergy with the glitch core because the number one check for Amungus, what would be? It would be uh, Golden Go. So glitch core with SPDF investment allows you to help versus that. And yeah, the whole team kind of like helps you, uh, kind of helps you versus Golden Go. Like th this is why we have the knockoff here. This is why you have a lot of damage on the crunch. You're trying to, with this team, you're trying to hit the Golden Go as much as you hard, often trying to open up your Amungus spore and sludge bombs and all that stuff. Finally, we have Iron Defense Corviknight, only one check to a lot of physical attackers, att attackers, yeah, attackers, and rounds up the team nicely with a Defog and some defensive utilities with the Water versus Fire types and such. So yeah, this is a good team, nice consistent team. Let's get into the next one. Webs, you saw me using it with a with a Moth, very good team. I find it very consistent for an offensive build, build at least. And yeah, you have Skill Swap for Hatterin and Hitchan leads. Psychic for opposing Iron Moths that would otherwise be able to substitute versus your uh, Ribombi. And this is your setup. You set up webs and then try to get as much damage as you can. And you have your Mana Fee with a defensive investment and 181 speed. This allows you to outspeed a lot of threats after the webs because they remove, they slow down opposing threats. And yeah, you have nice coverage. They're fair for the Jacos that uh, Jagaput can click because of clear body, which means that he doesn't get his speed lower but by webs. So, leftover utility, nice little defense, nice little spatak. You deal a lot of damage, try to open up defensive cores. Next, we have the Golden Go. I changed it in my life, I changed it to Shadow Ball. Uh, Sergio had this with Thunderbolt. You can choose whatever you like. Thunderbolt obviously hits gold, uh, gold. yeah. It hits uh, water types, so things like Toxapex is gonna take a lot. Things like Greninja that would otherwise uh, resist your Shadow Ball, you can get hit by a lot. Uh, Samuro takes a lot of damage, Toxapex, uh, Don Dozo. So when you're using physical attackers, Don Dozo is a big threat. That's why these Pokemons, all three support very well this team. But at the same time, many of these threats doesn't limit hits with Terra Fairy, for example, Samuro and Greninja. So if you value Don Dozo, you can keep Shadow Ball, uh, you can keep Thunderbolt and force it to Terra Dragon or some shit. So. And then make it rain deals a lot of damage. But I like Shadow Ball too. Whatever you love, whatever you want. Uh, Sugar Berry, so you can trade versus opposing ground types. So things like Gliscor, things like Don Dozo. Yeah, Don Dozo is a ground type. Jesus Christ, bro. Things like <laughs> Great Task. So, or if you saw in my life, I was able to trade versus Elandarus. All these Pokemon are able to kind of like neutralize your uh, physical attackers here in the back. So you're trying to pressure those and trade positively. Positively, and Sugar Bray allows you to trade versus uh, Great Task, trying to spin. So you can go hard into the Great Task, trying to click Ice Spinner on the air balloon that this Golden goes off and run. And he's surprised that you don't have that air balloon. So you're like, okay, I'm just gonna hit on grass. Boom, Sugar Bray activated. You get rid of his Great Task, and now he no longer can spin the webs. Best, adva uh, best Pokemon that takes advantage of the webs. This shit does a shit ton of damage. This shit has coverage for everything. Very good Pokemon, very threatening Pokemon. One special attack boost for Fairy Dance with the booster energy. You can go really out of hand. Terra Grass for Don Dozo and for some key defensive utilities. Very good Pokemon, very good set under webs. Our King Gabit rounds up the team very nicely, providing some key defensive utilities and late game sweep that are flying for the grounds and Lambert for hitting Zapdos and Moltres so you don't get burned or static 
paralysis and it can easily trade versus things like slow scale that is not 200 plus speed if you want to outspeed that you could invest into a jolly nature but uh yeah that lowers a lot of your damage investment so you could do that if you if you're if you're interested for that finally we have the terra poison great task provides rapid speed utility for your team bulk up setup terra poison for uh gas types fairy types like moonblast valiant so you can rapid spin outspeed and then handle gas killer and it also is a nice toxic immunity so it's a very good terra for this pokemon great task to sweep and yeah you have five spinners so you can hit Gliscor, uh, you can hit zapdos and pray that you don't get fished uh, by static and things like that so it rounds up the team nicely next we have this nice little offense with uh, iron defense zamazenta we have grants to hit the ghost types then we have an assault vest terra steel rillaboom and Mainly, Rillaboom is mainly here for, to provide some grassy glide utility as well as the grassy surge for Sneasler in the back. And therefore, it's a nice, nice little move that you can use as your last move because it doesn't have many other good, great options you could do, do instead. Like a big break, you could do like low kick to deal a lot of damage to Gambit. But the devil can be key, especially with the Solvest and the priority in the back can be key versus like offensive threats that put you in low HP and then you can revenge kill them with grassy glide. It's awesome usage in the tournament too by our buddy Isa, so I definitely recommend it. Yeah, but it's a very, very nice move. And still, that runs up the utility reliable needs versus like Mortal Spin from uh, Glimora, as well as Ice Spin from things like Mana Fika Ninja and shit like that. Or even like flying type moves, so you can endeavor, knock off, do some, do some shit. And it's a toxic immunity too. Next, we have a Leftovers Goldego here with a Terra Fairy. Very good set. Leftovers plus Rillaboom. You provide your Goldego with a lot of recovery, allowing it to 1v1 versus Tontoso, allowing it to heal and outmatch Zamazenta's Crunch. I'm talking about opposing ones, right? And yeah, this is a this is a very tough Pokemon to, to beat. It's no longer ground ground weak anymore because of the grassy terrain, so they have very good synergy and provide some very key defensive utilities for your team. Next we have a life for Penamorus. This also takes advantage of the fairy and the grassy terrain. When you a fairy, you touch the ground, so you're no longer flying type. You boost your Genie Keys and Mooblast and you have like strong life form. So this hits ridiculously hard and you can provide it with grassy terrain recovery if you like. This allows you to click substitute because of the recovery from training keys and sub and the uh, uh, grass terrain if you terra fairy and yeah the earth power to hit the kitchen to hit an amorous not an amorous i am an amorous to hit iron more to hit charolettes common fairy resist call the go things like that next we have the sizzler sizzler which has very good synergy that was my facebook which has <laughs> very good synergy with my with my real we have a lot of hp and some speed to be able to outrun things like Iron Valiant after booster energy and then you have the Terra Ghost Shadow Claw to be able to be immune to extreme speed from Dragonite and also Cook, Goldego and Draga pulled Dark Claw because it's broken and close combat your stab. Then you finally have Volcanion with a cast up berry max special attack that are tone this helps you a lot versus both offense and defense it's a good lead if you want to do that versus glimora trying to click like uh, earth power or some shit put you in an in casta berry you steam eruption there is a chance you all go it with a steam eruption because of the burn chance and then you have casta berry versus the next pokemon offense uses so you get massive damage as well as the great defensive offensive and defensive yeah whatever i'm trying to say something but yeah, clearly went wrong you have a lot of utility both offensively and defensively is trying is what i'm trying to say with this set so it's good and it's a great lead as well so yeah next team we have a cheese rain terra flying weather uh, here again allows you to be a gas assist which is very important for a team like this and allows you to soft check things like dragonite it has very great synergy with iron treads because the number one iron thread set check to it is a uh, task unless you're running steel beam here we're taking advantage of the better physical attacks and partnership with the uh, belly bear next you have manafi which is your stall breaker you can get a grass energy ball and break through a lot of threats like don dozo and toxapex you have rest which in the rain heals your status as well and hydration basically remove your status what i'm trying to say barascuda is your anti-offense and rain abuser it's a shit it has like incredible 
uh, incredible speed here uh, in the rain and does massive damage with the uh, Terra Water and Liquidation, close combat for the King Gambit and uh, Psychic Fax. Psychic Fangs can break uh, screens and also hit the poison types like Toxapex and Amungus. Speaking of Amungus, we have a jetpack Amungus to allow you to get your opposing, you know, to, to get your own physical threats in, in the field easily with safety and regen out with a jetpack. Stopping charge room is used over something like World Seed so you can not uh, be weak to Terraglass Substitute Iron Moth. So, for example, let's say Iron Moth is in and he clicks substitute as a fire type and you go to and you you, you then have to sh you then if you didn't have this you would have to switch into somebody take the hit and then try to break the substitute and switch out then he ends up again and terra grass would uh, prevent you from getting breaking that substitute so yeah the starting top stomping charger i like that a lot helps you versus that very very well and it has some great utilities versus like uh, Spore versus Goldegon and then you boost your stopping charge by twice, like twice the amount. Then you have Offensive Agility Zapdos, Anti-Offense Set, outspeeds a lot of fast threats and can clean up with this very strong 383 special attack and this very perfect and accurate in the rain at least. Um, coverage, you can do Terra Steel if you like, Terra Fair is also nice and Terra Steel would help you versus Nizzler I feel more and Terra Water helps you versus Sucker Punch from Terra Fairy. Terra Fairy helps you more versus Sucker Punch Gambit. Both work, whatever you like, Terra Fairy or Terra Steel. Next, I've showed this thing a million times. This is the best thing currently. <laughs> it's really, really good. Really good Scarf Samurot providing ceaseless head spikes. And you have the Golden God that can take advantage of them with the leftover set. And Thor is a very good pick, my buddy. Sergio came up with for using Timmy so you outspeed max speed Manafi and you have a lot of good ways to play around glitch score, knock off into looting them, you know, knock off as they protect so they activate the orb so they're not longer afraid of the knock off, uh, knocking off their uh, toxic orb and then you can lure them with the Terra Eyes which frees up a lot your cellulites in the back and the defensive task or Goldigo provides speed control, uh, speed control, hazard control, provides you some hazards. Amogus has the red card here, which can save you versus many offensive uh, sweepers. So, for example, uh, like a sneeze that's trying to set up, you can leave the hit and red card it out. Same thing with like even something like Iron Moth because of the speed death investment, you can easily leave. Then attack for stored power, so you don't want to be weak to that. Things like Lefable or Hatterin run that, so you can Terra Dark, red card them out. With, as they try to hit you with like a fairy, fairy tap or whatever and you can red card and their sweep so that's really nice and several is your iron moth check does a shit ton of damage with the body guys when it hits and can get some provides you with speed control for the team you know otherwise your fastest set is this and the scarfer not great here you have a little bit more speed as something like real boom try to hit you boom you activate your weak armor now you're unstoppable and there goes immune, immune e-speed and common priorities and you can set a fairy to be resisting other priorities too like sucker pass from gambit so yeah these are very nice set rounds out the team very nicely next we have the team jambat used recently we have the four attacks zamazenta again with wheezing this time taking advantage of the you know golden ghost try to win the hazards war here with a neutralizing gas you can defog versus them you have very nice willow wisp which is free versus whatever they're trying to, to, to switch that is not a fire type and this can also be this is your physical check like it helps it helps you deal with a lot of threats like uh, whatever they're not physical ground types what I'm trying to say so I don't know Rilla Booms uh, Summon Senta all those things can be checked by this thread SD Valiant and such and you can willow with them, get some HP back, defog all the hazards, strange team is strong. And what's good about neutralize gas? You can use that versus Gliscor so they take toxic damage. We have Gliscor right here, same shit. This time we have a heavy heavy duty boot set on top of a canyon. We're not using offense to use like Casta Berry and shots. This is a bulky offense, so you want a little bit more utility and the ability to click. Uh, to get your Focani on it without taking like a shit ton of damage or instead of using it as a lead or whatever. That's why you have boots here. 
Key Gabri here, max attack, Terra Flying, some leftovers utility so you can use it versus Shadow Balls from Jagapult. And finally, we have the Iron Valiant with Terra Steel and Ice Pants. This allows you to not be revenge swept by things like Sneasler, Dark Law, or things like Rillaboom. You can resist that. Ice Pants, you hit the, the, you hit the, the Grass types, you hit uh, Gliscor with this. You can be immune to Toxic with this Terra Steel. Does a lot of things for you. Finally, we have the team Mabari TPP came up with for his Smogon Champions League game and he won. We're using this uh, Masco team, Terra Ghost, Shadow Claw, he had it by, that changed it, that's my preference. You can do Terra Dark and Bite if you like, which is a little bit stronger to kill stuff. I like Terra Ghost because you're E-Speed immune. You have this Dawn 3 attacks Fallen with the Terra Fairy, so it's strong and fast. Psyshock for the Poisons, Low Kick for King Gambit here. And some defensive utility with a U-Turn, knockoff, all that stuff. Air Balloon hits and so you're no longer ground weak. And you can Terra Flying after if you need to. And this can, this can make much progress versus the common threats. You can even chop something like Gliscor with this. And because of your Air Balloon and Terra Flying and Taunt, you have a lot of speed, you have a lot of special attack and survivability with the same. HP investment. Same set with last time, Great Task. This is one of the most threatening sets offense can use, and the second most threatening sets offense can use with a Sneasler. This time it's a little bit faster at neutral, so you can do stuff. You can outspeed Great Task without even activating your unburden. So, yeah, these are the teams. They're gonna be in the description. They're also gonna be in the academy. We already said all that before. And if you're curious about like what uh, what about this, why you're using this, and I didn't mention it, you can mention you can message me on Discord as well. And you have a, if I have an answer, I'll I'll share that with you, so you have like full you know full full control of like what you're using and understanding. So yeah, these are the teams. Hope you like them, and let me know. Give me feedback if you if they do good for you. They did quite good for me, so yeah, I just wanted to share them with you. So that's the video. Have a good one. Bye bye, guys.